So I'm at the gym about to hit shoulders, had a protein shake before I left the house. I really don't uh, use pre-workouts. I wish I could, I, I'd like to, but any sort of like stimulant, caffeine, it'll have me up all night. But I wish I could for the gym. I mean, it really helps. But um, yeah, I just, I just can't do it. So about to go in here, hit shoulders, at least a shoulder focus workout. It's really more of a upper body workout, but it's gonna be starting off with shoulders. So that's gonna really gonna be the focus. And, and yeah, it's something I wanna to talk to you about once we get into, you know, once we get into the gym, because I always see people trying to make other people feel ashamed of certain things. And, you know, I don't like that because you know, human nature is, well, I just wait until we get into the gym and then uh, we get into it and then I'll, uh, and then I'll talk to y'all. Let's get into it. First set, super light. Just a real, I mean, not even the first set. This is a warm up. First set, so you gotta do a million reps. So this is actually the first working set. Next. Working set. Working set number two. Last working set, and I need to hit this one for three plus. That's what my program says. So we shall see. Oh, I need a three. More is better. Oh, in this case. So uh, after this, I'm gonna go do some pull downs because after I do presses above the head, I like to do something for the back that's coming from the same angle, but down. And I swap it up like when I do chest, that's when I do my horizontal pulls. That's just what I do. You can do what you like. I like to do the hammer strength one because you can work each arm independently. But I like the one you see most people do, the cable one as well. I do that sometimes too. First set, so you gotta do a million reps. Oh, well, I guess I'll say this is the first set, I suppose. Um, I really try to focus on getting that full stretch. See, when I'm starting way up here, getting that full stretch, and then down. 
Like, I could totally do more weight for sure if I, like, you know, half rep it, you know, and do all that kind of stuff. I could completely, I'm 100% sure I could do more reps, but I don't feel like that's the most efficient way, and I don't really care about that. I'm in here for health, mobility purposes, and size is a part of it, but not at the expense of having functional muscles that aren't prone to injury. All right, let me show, let me show, let me do this. Is it really worth it to have like you know you get bigger because you will get bigger doing the half reps and all that stuff it, it does work but it does take away mobility if you're not also doing exercises that work the muscle through the full range of motion but that's just me you do what you like may ask, how do I know that it takes away mobility? Because been there, did that, but everyone's learned from themselves. Everybody gotta do them. Like throwing that weight around. Throw that shit the fuck around that. Don't let nobody tell you different either. You like them half reps? You fucking do them half reps. And don't let nobody tell you different. Next, I'm about to get into this. Uh, Incline, bench press. I always want with the bar, but that's just me. Uh, I like to put some blood in the muscle, even just the bar. Then I go up from there. Then I get into my working sets. And it's the first set, so you gotta do a million reps. First work is set. I'm cool with six to eight. These always take a hit after the shoulder press, so I'm cool with it. Because, yeah, maybe you can put some more weight on if you don't, but 
cares? Who cares what people think? It's way more important to do the exercise correctly than get an injury and you can't even work out at all. So if you're gonna feel you care if you have a, the bar, doing the bar correctly will always be superior to doing I don't, 225 on the incline with whole ball form and half range of motion. simple things. I know, I guess it's, it's uncool these days to desire people and other things, but yeah. It's okay to admit that you do things for other people and you should not feel ashamed about it. Because that's completely, it's completely normal to want to be desired by others. Now being desperate, that's a different story. But desire, is completely fine, and the majority, the mass majority, 99% of us, uh, want to be desired by other people. Ask yourself, if you were on a desert island, and you were never gonna see anyone else ever again, what are the things that you would still do? Would men still cut their hair? Would men still trim their beards? Would women still wear makeup? Would they still shave their body hair? Would anyone care about brand name clothing? I think the answer for the majority of us is gonna be no. However, just because we're trying to attract certain people into our lives, it doesn't mean that we're trying to attract everyone. We're really just trying to attract the people that we're attracted to that are also looking for what we're offering, whether that be relationship, friendship. So I believe the things we, that we would do when no one was ever going to be there to witness it are the things that we do for ourselves and everything else is what we do in hopes of attracting other people to us. So I'm trying to lean forward a little bit on my uh, lateral raises. I usually don't, but someone I respect said I should try it. So. Here I am. Give it a go. So this is the reason why I don't do normal squats. It's out of control. I don't know if you can see that angle, but it's just crazy. I'm not trying to be, a, I'm not trying to be thick, you know. I, I should not be the thickest person in the gym. That's not my goal. All right, last set of uh, lateral raises. Uh, pump up my uh, scrawny arms. I like to drop it a little bit behind my head. That's just what's comfortable for me. I don't know if I would say that's the uh, only way you could do it.
What's the pose is gonna be? My last exercise. At least the one we'll be able to film because my mic's about to run out of battery. So I made it back to the to the crib and I'm eating my post-workout meal. It's kind of like my rendition of a Chipotle barbacoa beef bowl, barbacoa I made. Usually I would like to have uh, some guacamole, avocado on it, but I don't have any, so I can't do that. But I'm going to eat this, then I'm going to go on with the rest of my day. Um, other than that, if you enjoyed like, comment, subscribe, and I will uh, see y'all in the next one.